Mane vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. This Pen Dream TV your only source of authentic political news and latest updates. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for more updates. Like and also share to other members to watch as well. You can also leave a comment afterwards. You know, send us your voice note on our WhatsApp number, which is 0277-128-777. Thank you. Nanaya Jantua has also come out lamenting on how Yoko is handling Cecilia the best case, which she thinks is not the best and she also smells something fishy. He, she also lamented on how the EC is taking the registration, which she thinks is not the best. Without much ado, I'd like you to join me listening to what she said into detail and the banter that went on in the studio of TV3 between Nanaya Jantua and Na against Rabi, which is interesting and you love to watch or listen and see that there is change coming ahead. Thank you. First, Koseka. First, Koseka, Executive Secretary of Koseka. And also, former CPP Executive Secretary. I, I knew I was going to get that wrong. Please, 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 please correct me. General Secretary. General Secretary, not Executive Secretary. No, you don't have Executive yes. Secretary. General Secretary. I beg your pardon. Nanaya, the eyes you are using to look at me this morning is very scary. No, I'm just looking at something. Don't worry, don't worry. Happy Mother's Day to you in advance. Thank you. I hope we, we, we automatically qualify for the coupon. Automatically? So yes. you, we can have dinner together? For us, the women who come on the set. Yes, automatically. Okay. So it's automatic. Okay. Yes, we'll go so together. So every, every woman who comes here, you are invited yes. to dinner TV3 on yes. Sunday. Take your time. <laughs> you are invited. <laughs> what yes. about the, I, other I, women? I'll review, I'll review the list and decide. <laughs> also, we have in the studios with us this morning, National Communications Team Member of the NDC, Shahada Tu Al Hassan. Hello, my dear. No. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to have you. And a, a very happy Mother's Day in advance to you and also. And happy Mother's Day to you too. We'll be joined. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's great to have you. I think this is the first time I'm having you on sure. the show. Sure, yes. it's my first time. Great, great having you. We'll be joined um, shortly by Rabi Salifu, Deputy Communications Team Member, Deputy Communications Director, Director of the NPP. Uh, she's on her way. She's a few minutes late. But Nanaya. Yeah. I know we've spoken about this Cecilia the Pie issue so, so many, times, many times, but this issue doesn't seem to go away. Yeah. And now it appears that the actual issue has been put on the back burner and the focus has shifted to the agencies that are supposed to investigate this matter and bring it to a finality. But what do you make of this back and forth? Good morning. Um, now, good morning to your viewers and good morning to my sister. And good morning to everybody. Good morning to my friend Abdul Latif Dan, MP for Abley Kuma Central. And happy Mother's Day to my mother, Mrs. Constance Jantua, who is 95 years old in advance. My dear, I, mean, I don't understand what is going on, the backwards and the forwards. And really, I don't understand. It, it, it is becoming some waste of our time we've gone through the motions somebody steals a minister's money it is taken to the police station me my only problem is i always ask myself if this is stolen money why did somebody steal your money and you take it to the police station like using um we have a term using we money to buy we i mean somebody thief man thief thief man who so it's like, what is going on? Then we move on into investigating the matter itself. OSP says this. Attorney General says something else. Now FBI even comes in. Mm -hmm. You go all the way to FBI. Then now we are back to Yoko. From the very beginning, why didn't we take that? Because I believe OSP can investigate everything. OSP can only investigate corruption and corruption-related activities. So this one is what? This Money laundering. They have they suspect they money. suspect money laundering. So if they suspect money laundering, why don't they go ahead and investigate? Yes. So OSP sends the docket to Yoko because they have the money. I listen to, to the Yoko boss to investigate. And money she says laundering. that what she has seen, the evidence is very little. That is what she, I mean. It's as if there is no evidence to the fact that it is money laundering. 
Well, I listen to her on 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 radio. Okay. So I'm like, if that is what it is, why are you wasting everybody's time? Serious. If there is a suspicion of money laundering, why don't they investigate it? I think I don't think Yoko is the only body that can investigate. If Yoko is running now, what about the CID? Is a uh, money laundering is a crime. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. So if the Yoko is unable to investigate, why don't they take the matter to the criminal investigation department? In fact, the, the CID police? has been invited to investigate yes. some parts of. It's not part the, 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 the it, source of her of the monies. Not so, because you see the source, you ha, you are suspecting money laundering. Period. Mm -hmm. mm? Evidentially, it is there. One body said they, they don't see, depending on their jurisdiction, or depending on what they are supposed to say, they don't see that matter in there. There is another body. Well, I mean, for when it comes to the CID, they start the investigation. Even sometimes they don't have any suspicion. They can go ahead and investigate and get to the bottom of the matter. So if there's suspicion of money laundering, which is also a crime, why don't they take it to the CID? Seriously speaking, because... It is becoming a waste of our time. Every morning we get... Uh, yesterday, uh, Professor Jenna Nopokwajima went around mm -hmm. some of the centers. For me, she's a woman. And we should be talking about some of these things because for me, it doesn't matter the party that she belongs to. As long as it's a woman that has been given this high honor. And she went around telling the EC they should do the right thing. I think it, it should be something we should be looking at. And talking about even the EC, the way they are conducting themselves, which is not good enough. You don't think that when, like, a, a matter of involving a former minister of state, okay, she's been suspected first of corruption and corruption related activities. Mm -hmm. The Office of the Special Prosecutor doesn't see corruption. But suspects money laundering has he has referred this to you. But Yoko money, Yoko to but, but, but I'm surprised. Doesn't this you see, I'm surprised that the special prosecutor is running away from the matter. He's not running away from Please, the matter. Please, my dear, you see, when you talk about money laundering concerning an ordinary person, you get me, you don't bring in corruption because it is an act that maybe the person has been involved in. This is a minister, you said, behind the scenes, you said, what work does she do and all that? This is a minister who's, we've seen some money, I mean, going round in her house. Do a lot of money. A lot of money. Too much money. Too much money. In your estimation, somebody's estimation. It's, it's not, not much. It's not much. That's, that's correct. Uh -huh. So the point is that if this money is found, there's some level of corruption. If you say that you see money laundering. You think that money laundering and corruption are related? When it's, when it's a public person. It's related. It's related. Because then the questions come, how did you get the money? How were you bringing money across? Do you understand? So it is. So I don't see why OSP is running. OSP can investigate it to the end of it. No, Actually, some people have said that money laundering can be a corruption-related activity. Yes, it is. So mm -hmm. that if the OSP is seized with a mandate to investigate corruption, corruption-related, yes, yes. then that should cover yes, money laundering. It, yes. However, mm -hmm. because Yoko. No, no, no. Has the, it, the mandate okay, to your investigate point, you money went laundering. to FBI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You went to FBI and you've been able to find out that there is some aspect, suspicion. It is not, if somebody is suspected, it doesn't mean this thing. So you have seen it. You also investigate corruption. It is not limited. I remember the OSP came to tell us that his job is not limited only to corruption. His job is, he can even come to your house and look at things, even on suspicion. So he also has the mandate and the power to investigate. He's an investigative body. So you think that he, sh he ought not to have gone to Yoko Yeah, yeah, because if he feels that Yoko and Ko are not uh, are making it easy for him to get to the bottom of why doesn't he do it himself? I don't think anybody will stop him from doing it. As long as, as you're saying, there is a suspicion that he's been able to figure out. And that's from the um, FBI and wherever. When he went abroad and they did their investigations, the aspect of the money that was coming abroad is money laundering. Money that has been, I mean, being brought from the U.S. through some criminal activities. Because money laundering is a crime.
And no SP, you can investigate crime. You investigate mm -hmm. corruption. Your, post, your, your scope is wide-reaching. So I don't see why backwards and forward, you could say this one, say, you have the authority to investigate. So if they don't want to investigate and you want to do the right thing, go ahead and investigate. I don't think anybody will stop him. When, when he does it and at the end of the day, we don't want to listen, he should publish his, his, his results. So we know. Hmm. Yes, he should publish whatever result. He should publish it for us to know. If government is not interested, nobody is interested, whatever it is, he should publish it. So I don't see how he has the power. He has the mandate and he's depending on other institution to do it for him. How is that? I'm asking you. Okay. He should do it himself. Okay. Because if he's having challenges, he should do it himself. Okay. He has the power. Office of Special Prosecutor, which was formed by His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Kufuado to deal with issues like this. So he should not give it. Because when His Excellency Nanado formed the uh, OSP, there was Yoko. Yes. Mm -hmm. There was CID. Mm -hmm. There was Attorney General's Office. Mm -hmm. And he said there is the need for office of the special prosecutor to focus on corruption and corruption it's only for uh, have you were here when he came came and he said that his 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 mandate is wide reaching yes but since there is an office to investigate money and the office laundering, is saying i haven't so seen. for example the osp would not investigate stealing or armed robbery because his his because that that doesn't fall within his mandate. but stealing can be corruption so, stealing, so stealing, yeah, stealing can be corrupt. If a, a, a public official, so is, if there's an corruption. element of corruption, then he would no, investigate it. I'm saying that what is corruption? Okay, corruption is stealing. Okay, taking money that does not belong to you as a public officer. Okay, do you get me? So, what is corruption? So, every in your form opinion, of corruption is stealing. In your opinion, mm. all these crimes that can be described or that can have an element of dishonesty yes, or corruption cor cor should fall under the I am telling you that corruption is of the stealing. special prosecutor. If, if, you see, I have, my dear, I have a pot to cook. Mm -hmm. mm? My pot, I believe, is not maybe big enough for this. I say, oh, that's your call. Lend me your pot. You see, I won't give my pot to you. I will cook with my pot, no matter how small it is. I will cook and deal with it in the manner that will suit me. Mm -hmm. You have gone to Yoko. Yoko says, I can't find evidence. You find your own evidence. You have the power to investigate. You even have the power to go to the FBI. How many uh, institutions in Ghana can go to FBI? He took pictures of the, with the FBI boss. It was on front page. So you have gone to take this. And then you come back, you hand the thing over to somebody. No. Do it to the end of it. So that we know that, yes, indeed, what you went in for it has been done period so they should stop this spectacle in the media of these public institutions they went to fbi because of a suspicion that some of the monies had come in from the, believe, the united states yes. from a lady who was supposed to explain Yes. Um, how she sent this money in and why she sent it in and whether she de uh, declared it yes. when she was coming into the country. Yes. Yes. So, so the FBI involvement was to handle the part of monies coming I don't have from outside problem. the country. I don't have a problem. Now, I am saying that you have gone to the highest body mm -hmm. mm, when it comes to investigations. In America, if they say the FBI is after you, you are in trouble. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You have gone to the FBI. The FBI has been able to help you establish certain things. Yes. Certain uh, issues have been settled, established. So you come back. You are having problems with the institutions that have to deal with it. You yourself, you have the capacity to investigate. So investigate and take your report to the Attorney General. But this is what I found. Leave it there and let's see what happens. I mean, as simple as that. But I don't see why we are... So what, what do you want to do that? Yoko should investigate by all means. I me, mean, I always don't put things... Why in. not? Yes, but Yoko is saying I haven't found the evidence. The Attorney General is telling Yoko to cease investigations. That's what I'm saying. That The Attorney General, I listened to him. He's also saying that there is no evidence of money laundering. Okay. So my problem is that the, the OSP... Whatever report that makes him suspicious, okay. whatever was given to him from the U.S., now it's become a public thing. He should bring it out for all of us to see. 
Right. There are lawyers in this country. They will read it. There are people who are intelligent. So we know that you will say that this is the paper I have. All right. The paper says that I, there is a suspicion of money laundering. Period. Why is he hiding it? All right. We've just been joined by Rabbi Salim for your welcome. Thank you. Nice. Deputy Communications Director of the MPP. But uh, bef before I come of to you. Of the great MPP. Not the great. <laughs> of the great new patriotic part. I see. You're yes. welcome. It's great to have you. Good to have you too. All right. Uh, I'll come to you, Ms. Um, Hada, too. Okay. What, what, are you impressed with how the various agencies that are supposed to investigate this matter and bring it to a close have handled it so far? Um, now, good morning to you once again and to my colleagues. I think it's been a long time I met with Rabi. As for Nanaya, we met just last week. And happy Mother's Day <coughs> in advance to both of them and to you too. Um, now, <laughs> this, um, let me first of all um, applaud the vice president, the incoming vice president, Her Excellency mm -hmm. Professor Nanoko Kwajima. Yesterday she went around the registration centers to observe what is going on, and I think it's it's a wonderful job from her. And uh, we're also using this opportunity as women to encourage Nano, uh, Jane Mensa <laughs> to be up and doing. Because as at yesterday in my constituency, for instance, in my, my center, we were able to only register 18 people. Which, which center was that? I was in North constituency, which is at um, Rich. Okay. Yes. How many we're, for first day? The first day, how the many? First day was three. Yesterday was 18. Yesterday it started smoothly in the morning and the later everything stopped. And then Do you have an idea of how many people that the turnout. The turnout was about more than 100 people. Oh, sure. So okay. we were able to register. What happened? Yesterday your, your, your media house was forward. there. No, the system was not working. It wasn't working. And so we want to take this opportunity to urge um, Jim Mensah to be up and doing. Whatever it is that has to do with the machine, at least let's know what is happening. There should be a backup if it is a network problem. We shouldn't be facing this problem when we have, we have targeted 630-something people to be 622,000. Very well. And so I think she should be up and doing it. Um, right. Now, on the issue of Cecilia Adapa, um, somehow I, I, I feel very ashamed as a Ghanaian. It's, it's disgusting. If I should use that word, it is, if it is right for me to use that word. Now, we are under the leadership of the same president who promised Ghanaians to protect the public person. We are still under the leadership of the same president who said that if you're coming into my government to make money, then forget about it. We are still under the leadership of the president who... His aim was to fight corruption and fight corruption and fight corruption. Now, if you look at what is happening under this government, there have been a series of scandals under this government. Scandals upon scandals. We cannot mention all. We have Charles Bisu case. We have Payos. We have SML scandal. We have Ejapade. We, can, we can't mention them all. But what is so disgusting about this issue of Cecilia Adapa is that for the first time in this country, we see three institutions, anti-corruption institutions, fighting among themselves publicly, which is very shameful. Are they fighting? That is how I see it. That is how I see it. Now, now let, me, let me give this scenario so that, um, I mean, listeners or watchers will understand. You work with Media House, Media General. Let's assume an example, you earn 5,000 in a month. You have a side business which earned you 2000 a month. And so because Media General takes care of your clothing, your, your fuel, your electricity, your water. Oh, your water and everything, you are able to save enough from that 5000 you earned. You are able, you are able to save from uh, uh, your side business to, to at least save some money. And so if money is found in your room now, mm -hmm. you can easily give an account of how you earn that money. You can easily make an account of it because you worked for it. You saved it yourself. So you can easily give an account of what happened, how you got that money. Now, I was expecting His Excellency Nanado to learn from Mahama because 
we all saw what happened to Victoria Ama when she had a mere ambition of ending $1 million, which I will also do because we all love money. She was sacked. Just by having that ambition, she was sacked. Now, another woman in power, a minister of state, has been found with $1 million in her room. 300,000 pounds. And then the next thing we hear from the same president who says, I am coming to protect the public face. From the president who says, if you are coming into my government to make money, then forget about it. The next thing we hear from that president is that, my dear Cecilia Adapa, and then in the end he said, I believe that your integrity will be established. Now, this is a very high way to how the case should be directed. I am, I am very ashamed of what is happening. Again, I don't want to blame any of these three institutions, even though I have two. But the letter from the president to Cecilia Adapa has given a direction for which the case should be going. You think the president's letter prejudiced the way the special prosecutor, Iyoko, and the attorney general will do their of work? Of course. For the first time, I don't know. I stand to be corrected. I don't know. I can't find it anywhere in the constitution of this country that Yoko would have to write to the Attorney General seeking advice on how to handle a corruption issue. It, it wasn't a corruption issue that they were referring to. They were referring money. to money sus laundry. Sus suspicions so of money laundering. So how, how then should Yoko seek advice from the Attorney General who sits in the same cabinet meeting with Cecilia Dapa, who the President refers to as my dear? What is your point? <laughs> the Attorney General does work with Iyoko and does work with the Ghana okay. Police Service. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And I am saying that the letter the yeah. President wrote to Cecilia yeah, okay. Dapa has given a direction to all the institutions, all the agencies. And so, Yoko says, I write to seek advice from the Attorney General. Mm -hmm. Now, this is... What's wrong with that? That is why I said I stand to be corrected. I don't know if it is constitutionally mandated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yoko, yes. Yoko works all of them. with it is, the, yeah, okay. the, the, the office of the Attorney General. So okay. the Attorney General is the one who prosecutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to be encouraged okay. yes. for them to work in yes. Rabi, wait. Your time will come. No, 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 no. We, we <laughs> support each so, other. If you need so as I am saying, the same president who created and appointed the special prosecutor we were in this country, in the same case of Cecilia Dapa, mm -hmm. says that he's been heckled. He's not being allowed to do his job. He's been frustrated and that he's doing his bit. When the time comes, he leaves. And then Tiwa comes in. Tiwa, who we all, I mean, expecting that at least she could redeem her image with this case of Cecilia Dapa. Because we saw what happened with the Tardy girls. We saw what happened with when uh, A+, plus place charges on, uh, what do you call it, Abu Jinapo and the rest. We saw what happened. And so we're expecting that at least Tiwa will redeem her name with this issue. And then she also comes out and say that, oh, I cannot be fighting the unfighter, but I cannot be fishing out things, and that uh, this case has already been directed. By who? She said the case has been directed? She, this case has already been directed. And that she, 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 she's returning back the docket to the special prosecutor on deceased that is what she said yeah. only for the written statement to come that she had already returned the docket on the third so what is happening the question i ask myself is who has a share in this one million dollars is the president have a share in that in, in the one million dollars why would you is, say that? Because what is it about this case that almost all the three anti-corruption agencies are running and fighting over? The fact that they cannot find any evidence, any what incriminating is it? evidence. Look, the moment the Cecilia Dapa started changing her charge sheet, there is a problem. Because in the beginning, it was her mother's uh, uh, funeral donation. Her brother. The next time, it was her brother. The next time, I think I thought, I don't know whether it's Rabi or Helen. The next time, it was a cosmetic shop she owns and all that. And then they keep on changing it, changing it. And so that is why I said I was expecting the president should have even at least given Ghanaians some, some, some space to think and then work around this issue before issuing that letter to Cecilia. 
that is how I feel that no, there is a forces behind this case that we cannot get, we are not making any headway. The point is that there must be evidence of wrongdoing, yes. isn't there? You can't you just there must be evidence of wrongdoing. Sure. Yes. And so in the absence of that evidence, it makes it difficult to prove any guilt. So why then should um, the special prosecutor say he's being heckled by who? He's being frustrated by who? What is stopping him from? Nana has said that the report he has so far, how far he has gone, he should publish it. Why is it difficult for him to publish it? Isn't it so obvious that there is something shielding this woman? There's something shielding this whole issue that we cannot lay our hands on. The, the special prosecutor has found no evidence of corruption. What has he found so far? A suspicion of money laundering. What has he investigated so far? Uh -uh. What? When you say, ah, I don't understand. Of course he has done something. <laughs> the docket has been with him. You don't want to pack again. Is he, say, is he trying to say that he has not done anything on that matter? He has. So, and after he finished, he okay. realized that he, he couldn't find any so evidence So bring of out the reports you have. So he gave it to Iyoko. They should bring it out. What is stopping them from bringing so far so, what so they, they have? So they should publish the documents. Publish the documents they have so far. Okay. I am not saying that it is corrupt. I am not saying it is money laundering. I am not saying that hook or crook there is something. But at least whatever you have done, whatever report you have with you that indicates that no, it is not money laundering said by uh, the Attorney General, mm -hmm. that we are not able to find anything corrupt about this whole issue. At least bring out the report because this issue is in the public domain. Okay. And I am sure that everybody is interested to know what exactly it but is. But the, the special prosecutor has constantly informed us about their findings. But you are asking that they should publish the entire document. They should document. publish the entire document and let Ghanaians understand what is going on. Because the whole world is watching. Mm. And then our agencies in public domain, the attorney general says, no, you cannot say it's money laundering. And then Yoko says, no, there is, no, there is nothing, we, we are, we are, there is little to, to investigate on. And then the special prosecutor comes to say that I am being heckled, I am being frustrated. What is it? Who has that money? Rabbi. Is Cecilia Dapak keeping that money for someone? Why do you keep saying that? Because I don't understand. Because now, if it is you, if it is me, by now this case has making a headway. If they had found evidence of wrongdoing. If it is you. <laughs> of course by now they, they would found have found evidence of, a, a evidence so of So you wrongdoing. think there's evidence but they are there intentionally ignoring of it? Of course. Now what else are we expecting? Okay. When the president is saying that uh, my dear Cecilia Adapa <laughs> and then in the end he what says What is wrong that, with saying my dear? Oh my sister this is an issue that every Ghanaian is worried about. Okay. One million dollars is not just a small money. Yeah. One million dollars. So everybody is wide open, looking at it, wanting to see how it will end. Okay. Couldn't the president have taken his time before writing that letter? Okay. Couldn't that, right. don't you think that that letter could could I mean manipulate something? That All is right. how I see it. Okay. I think that our agencies, anti look, I, I, this whole thing justifies what Matia Medu said that Nanado is the mother serpent of corruption. All right, I'm going to go to Rabi now. Rabi. Now, so do you know why I, I, I keep looking at you? Why? It's the pearls. Oh, on my shirt? I'm a pearls person. Oh, honestly. I see. I love pearls. Thank you. And it's probably because I'm very dark in complexion. Okay. So it, it brings me out when I wear pearls. Yours are very lovely too. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. And how are you? Very well, thank you. Me for auntie Nanaya, Nanaya, and I'm Nanaya. Nanaya, yeah. <laughs> Ravi, what do you make of the back and forth between yes, our agencies I, 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 I on want this matter? I want to start um, on the note of the limited registration exercise that is ongoing. You know, ours is a political party that I will always say is very organized, very focused, and would always get things done properly. Okay. We have done series of trainings and engagements and everything, even from IPAC to within our party, going to the region, to the constituency, and to the polling station. So we have done extensive trainings, organizations, and now ongoing with mobilization. Okay. And what makes ours unique is the fact that we don't even just mobilize our party sympathizers or people who are presumed to be people who will sympathize with us. We see it as a democratic right, 
And what we do is encouraging people, just in a way of supporting the Electoral Commission, to get first-time voters or first-time registers to come and um, register in this process. Now, it is just um, unfortunate that in terms of their um, logistical resources, I may put it, they are quite challenged when you look at the machines, when you look at their operatives and all that. But it's so nice to know that yesterday they issued a statement. I don't know if you've seen the press release. I have the soft copy and I'm sure Nanaya had chanced it. They are talking about going to the manual point that if today they start with a process and are still challenged with um, this internet or technical issues, they will go manual and then the registration process would go on. So I wish to also say sorry to those who were frustrated or who just couldn't have it in ease Are you easy? and tell them, yes, I, I, of course, I'm a Ghanaian. I, I respect the EC and speaking for the EC is not a bad thing. So I'm on behalf of EC telling the people that were frustrated that, look, it's sad that they went through that. But with the manual registration they are shifting on to, I am pretty sure the operations will be done properly. Now I'm talking about um, Madame Cecilia Dapa. I said it here with Bella, and that day was Nanaya. Then the other time was Beatrice Anna. That it's as simple as the fact that the NDC wouldn't have gotten any moral right in this country to sit on any national platform to talk about issues of ethics, conduct, competence and corruption but for issues of this kind and that is not to say madame cecilia the past case has been finalized on or any issue of corruption has been established around her i'm just saying if things of that sort hadn't happened trust me there is no way they would have gotten that strength to even bring out their face on it but let's say nature is nature Things happen the way they are supposed to happen, and God rules stuff the way He wants to get them done. The issue of stakeholder collaboration. I'm glad Sada said she doesn't know. And that I think is only fair to take a light on anyone, including myself, who doesn't know what we are putting across. Now, for the Ioko to write seeking advice from the special prosecutor. From the Attorney General? And, uh, Attorney General. Like you asked, is there anything wrong with that? You are my host. They are my co-panelists. If I'm here talking and I wish to seek advice or comment or something, for the sake of our efficiency in democracy, for the sake of effective implementation of whatever rule of law and policies we have in this country, it is even supposed to be encouraged and that's why Nanaya will always tell you they should get back to the drawing board. And I'll always support that. And all effective people and people who are forward-looking in this country would say until you collaborate, until you seek advice from each other, until you work together, you aren't going to get the required results we have. Now, what's the point? So should she be hanged if there isn't any establishment? The issue of speculation and presumptions, yes, you can feel free to do that if that's your line of communication. If all you want to do is to come and sit and keep speculating and saying things that are not factual, that is your choice. But what we are saying is that it's a legal process, it's supposed to be investigated, and until the merits of the case is established, nobody should be pushed around on any ground. What do you say to people who say that the initial letter, and, and Tara too even said it, the initial letter from the president mm. sort of suggests or prejudices how the case will go? Because he said that he was, he was um, I did, I did, certain... I, did, I don't even find it prejudicing. That, that <laughs> uh, by, by the end of investigations, you know, her innocence will be established. It was just an expression of confidence in his own appointee. Okay. He knows her. But, and you see, but do you, you think see, it was premature because it was yet to be investigated? And so perhaps he, it would have been best for the president to wait. He may contact her privately, but when he sends us an official letter, then it suggests that he's directing how the case sh should go. Now, observations are well noted. If people weren't satisfied with it, 
it's not everything that you do should be correct or sat be satisfied so with. the president was but wrong. what i i am not i've always said it here i don't find anything wrong with what he said because this is somebody who works with him look i don't like giving a certain posture on this case because i did admit and i'll always admit that there was a wrongdoing in this instance what's the wrongdoing for madame cecilia dapa to have kept that amount of money at home nobody nobody will shamefully come to defend this even she herself have realized her mistake at this point but what we are also saying is that for the president to also come up boldly to tell Ghanaians that this is a woman whom I knew or and I still know her, I have worked with her, I have seen that she has worked in different capacities in this country. Um, Nanaya is more or less like an age mate of hers. And people who agree with her will tell you that she isn't just somebody who just rose overnight and just got an appointment to be the minister of um, water and sanitation mm -hmm. and then now getting this amount of money. She did. She did work with Kufo. She did a lot of businesses and the cosmetics and all that. And trust me, that amount of money, people have multiples of that in this country. As business people, as individuals. Yes. But, but what I am saying is that what only makes her case murky mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is the fact that she is a politician. And that's where our lives are always endangered, including all of them seated here. The, look, the truth of the matter is that now today, if you pick a Range Rover Vogue today, then tomorrow you are driving a Ferrari. Next tomorrow you are driving maybe probably a Bentley or some, something. And I do say, trust me, the number of people who will be interested in why I should use that will be more than the people who will be interested in you. You know why? Because I have given my hand in the political Because space. you manage public funds. Perfect. I don't even manage at the moment, but I know I'll yeah, manage public I, funds. I, I mean, but you see, me also leaving it doesn't limit or doesn't just say strictly that I'm utilizing public funds to do that. Yes. What is but, most important in this case is the investigation that is supposed to be done with the merits or the, the truth of the fact. And that is what you said. If they can't establish any truth, remember, like um, Namaya said, there are lawyers in this country. And I'm glad that now the NDC is even catching up with us in terms of the lawyers and all that, though they always come back to attack the bar, the Ghana Bar Association. But what I am saying is that even from the other side, we do have good lawyers who would sit and look objectively and genuinely into this case and say, yes, you say she has stolen. What is your proof? What is your evidence? And that is how all the scandals that had to go through, the GIDA, the SADA, the NCA, all that they also supervised over, had to go through. You can't just, just like you were talking about issues of prejudicing and all that, you can't just presume that because she's a politician, hence whatever is done. So at this point, look now, me, I want to say, that we have been patient enough, we have been consistent on following up. And now when I say we, I mean Ghanaians. You, of course, have done it. Our viewers have done it. We have spoken about it. Our stakeholders have also spoken, our, I mean, opponents have spoken about it. What is most important here is to allow the process to keep going. If the IECO is being advised to stay away or to get involved or seeking advice or taking advice and all that, all we all are interested in now the money laundry issue how did even the lady get the money into the country or outside the country what was the transaction what was the purpose and people are always there to answer the issue of at forcing and co is that not the same thing that is being done even at the point when the zoom meeting was supposed to be organized with the chief director and all that his wife had to come and sit in and speak to the issue they told her okay now that your husband is in the theater and all that, do we want to talk to the lawyer to look into the next witness who would want to take up this case? So that is, that is the rule of law. That is what makes us a beautiful country that respects democracy and law. And we should allow all to go. Now the moral lesson here is, for me, the younger ones and our seniors, is to just know that, look, if you have eyes on you, don't give chances to be interrogated this month. Do the right thing when you're not supposed to keep some amount of money at home. I don't think there is anything wrong with being wealthy. Look, the Quran yes, will tell you... nothing wrong with being wealthy, but your wealth must be explained. So you I explained so, wealth so that is will, why, will bring about suspicion. So you know. So why won't Madame Cecilia Dapa 
honestly mm -hmm. share or explain where all these monies have come from? I don't think she has actually stayed out of the case as well. She's part of the case. Yes, but she's she has, provided. Yes, yes. I, but I, she, I she has provided anywhere, various. I haven't read anywhere in this country mm -hmm. or listened to her or listened to anybody who would come to say she's shying away from answering. Yes, but she and has provided why various sources talk, which the OSP course, has come yes. out to tell us cannot be the source of the wealth. There is the thinking of the OSP. That it's is, not practical that, for example, um, she cited her brother, she cited a factory, and from the OSP's investigations, mm -hmm. those sources she cited could not have been the source of the wealth that was found, the one million dollars so that was found in, 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 in one million dollars. Exactly, in. that was found in her room. Investigation is still ongoing. We all are against prejudice. Mm -hmm. What I am saying is that she has her doors open. She even got her house being checked. Yes. Search and everything yeah. that tells you that she has actually demonstrated that um, sense of um, what is it patriotic citizenship if you want to put it in in context not to say she is the most patriotic but what i am saying is that she has at least not stayed out of the case and we should give it that flow we have been following the case and let's go and like I'm telling you, she isn't the first to be accused, even as at now. We have leading members of the NDC still be facing trial and all that. So let's allow it to go. What is most important is how do we check corruption? And Dr. Mahmoud Baumia in his speech told us that, look, his vision is clear on several thematic areas, including to build a digital economy and make Ghana a digital hub. Now, how do we link digitalization to corruption? It's what you see at the GRA today. It's what you see on our pay controller payroll. And how does it work? He says, I want to build a Ghana where we leverage technology. No. And technology helps it you. Part it's part of it. You can always make linkages. People sit here and digress. There is nothing wrong with that. What I am telling you is that, eh, now, yes. Dr. Baumia has a clear vision that is linked up to addressing issues of corruption in this country. And it is no wonder they are not too comfortable with me reading it because it is leading us to their most promised land. You are deviating from the telling, topic we are talking about. I'm not deviating, about. I'm just linking, you are, I'm just creating, from our topic. I am creating a link. You are, you are deviating from our topic. I'm creating a link between but, but, Dr. Baumia's but, vision but and we fighting I want, corruption. I want you to end, I want you to end um, your, your submission by actually so, answering the question I asked in the you, beginning. She, she asked, that, we, that, we asked, we asked we, we, issues of corruption. We've seen that three agents Look, that are seized people with the that mandate to handle this issue. And, and accuse us, sorry for that, and accuse us of being corrupt. Today we are telling them what we are doing to mitigate that they don't want to listen. Are what are doing you can you always create to, a link, man. If, if, if look, you, are, you can what, always create a link. Do. You can always you create a link. There you is no, so if you are in power, you shouldn't say your case. If you are in power, you shouldn't say your case. If you are in power, you are trying to create a link between what and what. Of course, yes. How to address corruption in this country. But that's what I'm doing. Yes. Yes. It, but let, let it be. It is even being Nanaya. implemented. Nanaya. Even if you say do it now, we are doing it. Yes. Today, yeah. when you go on our you're, payroll, you're talking about over fighting 6, corruption. Over 6,000 ghost names cleared completely. Today, nobody this can sit and take double salary. So that, no, no, nobody can sit and take double salary like some of the MPs. Look, now, nah, you may care to know that as we sit, eh, sitting MPs, mm -hmm. now, nah, who double as ministers take the same salary as opposition MPs? What does that mean? What does that we mean? We don't encourage the issue of stealing. She spoke that, about. It has we don't been issue. Been Rabbi. Rabbi. Look, it's Rabbi. about enforcement. Now, Nana Ya doesn't want to. Rabbi. She knows what I'm talking the about. The office of the special prosecutor has yes, been set up. So let's go back to CCC. Has been set up to investigate yes. corruption it's and corruption-related uh, activities. Saying this to the fact. <laughs> no, during his investigation, nobody, nobody digresses. Nobody digresses. Nobody digresses. I want you to. I want your final. I want your final. Comments Thank on this. you. Let's Let's go. Go. The three agencies that, that have aggressive. been entrusted with this that case are going back and forth. I'm only creating a link. I am Rabbi. creating a link, and there is Rabbi. nothing wrong with creating a link. Would you let me ask my question? You broaden your conversation with creating links. Would you let me ask, 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 ask the question? Please do, my dear. Do, do, right. do. Yes. Yes. No, I just, she I just, wants I just want to end. Find but are you moderating? Ra Should Ra ask Rabbi, me calm down. Thank you. I'm cool. You are not. I am. Calm down. Ask me the question. The three agencies who we are trusting to be able to bring this issue to a close are going back and forth disagreeing with each other yes and uh, calling each other dishonest and so on yeah because <laughs> basically they are, they are not bringing the issue to a close mm. my question to you is are you satisfied uh, speaking for the npp mm -hmm. are you satisfied with how this case has been handled and do you believe that the way this case has been handled reposes confidence in Ghanaians about how your government is fighting corruption 
my satisfaction is as clear as what I'm coming to tell you. One, she opened out her doors for investigations to be done. That's a key one and should be given to her. Two, the government hasn't stayed away and hasn't frustrated any process of investigation in this In spite case. of what the special prosecutor says. Perfect. <clears throat> Three, what I am urging all of us. Why would the special prosecutor lie? I don't, I, I don't know when he lied, and I don't know the you lie know, you are referring be, to. Because you say you have not, your government has not frustrated the process. Did he say but he the, frustrated But, but the process, special prosecutor has said that he's been frustrated. He spoke about it, among other things, and we all sat here to say we don't want any nagging. If he's not mature on the job, he should give way for somebody to come and do it. We have spoken about it. That's not even the case in this matter. What we are saying is that you asked me. How has it been handled? Am I satisfied? And I'm giving you reasons why I would say I'm satisfied. Okay. And until we get to the bottom of the whole thing, I wouldn't mark it less or high. What I am telling you is that there is investigation ongoing. All stakeholders should come collaboratively. If somebody will sit this morning and tell you it is not right for anybody or any of the stakeholders to seek advice, that's absolutely wrong. What we are saying is that it is good for them to collaborate. It is good for them not to accuse each other in the process. Because at the end of the day, they all want to establish the same goal. And that is all what we are all waiting for. As so you're country. satisfied with how it's been handled? Absolutely, yes. All right. I'll read some messages coming in and then we'll go on to our next topic. Uh, good morning, Na, and your panelists. They Economic and Organized Crimes Office has decided to return the docket of Cecilia Dapa back to the Office of the Special Prosecutor due to insufficient evidence to proceed with prosecution. This decision made after a thorough review of the available information and in accordance with legal standards required to pursue this case. Ioko's commitment to upholding the integrity of the legal process and ensuring that cases are pursued based on credible evidence is paramount in this matter. We hope that uh, we get there one day. And that's from Mausi Aibe, uh, texting us from the Volta region. Uh, no messages coming in. The OSP said that he is Ankwanuma. Nimre so beko. Did I? Nimre so ameko. Nimre so ameko. All right. Uh, that's, that's one of the messages coming in. Um, and this is a, a call from the the ECG, a call to the ECG in Keta to go and take care of one of the pools that has, has fallen and has caused absolute darkness for four days in Keta. So that's the ECG, um, if you're watching us. As this Donla says, it's obviously clear that the incumbent government isn't ready and interested in fighting the Cecilia Dapa corruption scandal. Certainly, it has been established that Madame Dapa hasn't been able to defend the source of her wealth. And believe me, one day, the day of reckoning will come. And all right, now Cecilia Dapa's resignation was written and accepted by the president on the same day, 2nd August. Mm -hmm. The president was with the Pope in the Vatican. Cecilia Dapa issued statements in which she herself misspelled her name and used different letterheads. <laughs> what a farce. The evidence is unexplained wealth. Check what the law says. And finally, Musa Abatwa says, good morning now. Everything points to the fact that there's a cover-up going on regarding Cecilia Dapa's case because Iyoko and the AG contradict themselves about the OSP's docket. I'm happy that John Mahama has stated categorically that every corruption case which Okufuado and Baumia cleared um, in a questionable manner will be prosecuted accordingly when he comes into office. And, and I know I said finally, but I'll just read one more. All right, and this is from Stephen Peng in Wa. Good morning now. The back and forth in the Cecilia Dapa case between the OSP and Yoko is staged. Stage managed to blindfold Ghanaians. Remember, the resignation love letter from Cecilia Dapa and the reply from Nana assuring her that she will be, she will be cleared. So now, what do we expect from the state players in this case after the president has said this? All right. And Thank you for watching Pen Dream TV. We really appreciate your time. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so for us. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to receive any latest update that will hit the channel. Like and also share to other members to watch as well. Thank you. Uh, David Kama, I'm in the Pen Dream TV. Now, so far, so good. Say, so, open okay, online portal, the world Ghana. Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have been doing TV.